Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Beckstrom, and I'm doing an example from section uh, 3.8 on implicit differentiation. Uh, this is number 20, and it's going to ask us to uh, first find dy over dx, or the uh, derivative of y with respect to x, and then it's going to ask us to find the slope of the tangent line at the given point 0, 0. All right, so in something like this, uh, the way I like to do it is go through, just take the derivative of everything like you normally would, but whenever we're taking the derivative of something other than the independent variable, which in this case is y, uh, we're going to also put a dy over dx, or you can just put a shorthand y prime if you want to, and that's what I'm going to do in this case, but either one is fine. So uh, we're going to start with the derivative of the tangent of xy. So this is going to be the derivative of the outer function, which that's going to be uh, secant squared, secant squared, xy, and times the derivative of the inside function, which is going to be times the derivative of xy, which we're going to use the product rule for that. So it's the first times the derivative of the second, which is just 1, but we just took the derivative of y, so I have to put a y prime. And then plus the derivative of the second, or the second term times the derivative of the first, which will just be plus y like this. Put parentheses around that, and that's equal to the derivative of x is just 1, and the derivative of y is just 1 times y prime, or y prime. Uh, so this is what I get right here uh, when I take the derivative with respect to x. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, let's go ahead and uh, distribute this because we have a y prime in there. So we're going to need to get that in a term by itself. So this is going to be x y prime times the secant squared of x, oops, of x y. And then times, we'll do that, plus y times secant squared of xy. All right, and this is going to be is equal to 1 plus y prime. And the next thing I want to do is I want to get all the terms with y prime over to one side and then factor out a y prime. So this is going to be y prime, and we're going to have this term. So that's going to be x secant squared of xy plus, and then we're going to bring this over to the other side as a minus y prime. So we'll just actually get a minus 1, minus 1, and that's equal to, we'll leave the 1 on that side, and we'll take this term here, the y secant squared of xy, and bring it over to the other side. So minus y secant squared of xy. And then I'm just going to divide both sides by this. So I'm going to end up getting y prime is equal to 1 minus y secant squared of xy. Oops, xy. And this is going to be divided by this term here. So that's x secant squared of xy minus 1. And uh, I think that's about all we can do for right now. Okay. So this is the uh, now the formula for the slope of the tangent line at the point zero, 0, for this function here. So to calculate the slope, uh, we're just going to put in a 0 for x and a 0 for y. Um, this term and this term here are both going to get zeroed out because they have an x and a y in them. Um, and the secant squared of 0 is just 1, but it doesn't matter because we're multiplying both of those by a 0. So we're going to get 1 over negative 1. So the, um, if you want to look at it like this, f prime of 0 is equal to negative 1. So that's the slope of the tangent line at the point 
zero zero so it's a uh, negative one slope all right if you guys have any questions please let me know and i hope you have a great rest of your weekend thanks